Hey everyone, welcome back to my next book preview video. This week we have another Karl Kopinski sketchbook video. This week it's sketchbook volume 7. So there's quite a lot of these now. Just a quick look at the front and back of these. It's a fairly basic design on these ones. So for example, I've got sketchbook volume 5 and 6 here as well, but it's quite nice once you own uh, a couple of these. They go quite nicely together, the style of them. I do have book preview videos showing both of the sketches in these ones, so definitely check that out. Also, take a look at Sketchbook 5 because there is a personalised sketch in the front of that one. It's pretty damn cool. So speaking of personalised sketches, I wanted to show in Volume 7 I got another sketch. So you can pay a very small amount extra to get Carl to draw in the front. So mine says, Merry Christmas mate, thanks for a great review. So Carl had seen my other book preview videos at that point. And the reason he's written Merry Christmas in it, as you will probably be able to guess, is because I got this just in time for Christmas. It was actually a really nice surprise because this was a gift from my brother. I love this sketch, by the way. It always reminds me of something from like Lord of the Rings, like a fell beast and witch king. But yeah, this was a Christmas gift from my brother. So that was a really nice surprise. So as shown on camera, I already had book five and six. So I wasn't sure whether to get this one because I've been buying so many art books. I really wanted this. A collection of the last few years of Carl's drawings. I'm a big fan of his work, but I've been trying to sort of hold off on buying as many books because honestly I'm running out of space and money. I'm sure I'm addicted, which does remind me if you do enjoy this kind of book, definitely check out the links in the description box below or on screen. I have absolutely tons of art book preview videos now. Regardless of what genre you like, you will definitely find some books in there. And as we talked about already, this one does match the previous sketchbooks. So it's the same sort of printing company or, you know, the same paper and stuff. It's quite thick paper. I think it says on the website it's like 140 GSM, which I think is really, really thick. Especially to say these books are only like £30 in the UK. It's also quite nice being in the UK to find an artist book like this that is from the UK because normally I end up paying just as much for the sort of fancier art books. I pay just as much for the shipping from America and various countries. So it's pretty rare that I find a UK based artist like this. I talk about it in a lot of the other videos, but I believe that these sketchbooks uh, are sort of self-published ones by Carl where they're not necessarily in print for long. So if you do want to get your hands on this, they are in stock at the time of me recording this because this has only just been released. Once they sell out, I don't think he usually restocks them. So on his website, I think there's only this one and maybe volume six or five, don't quote me. So if you are interested in getting this, I would definitely get that quite quickly before it's too late. I know that with Sketchbooks Volume 1 and 2, which are no longer available to buy, they actually got combined into this sketchbook. This is a hell of a book. It's massive. This one has colour printing in it as well. So you can still get hold of that one from a lot of big retailers as well and on Carl's website. I will put links in the description box below. Um, that one's a bit more expensive, but yeah, it has two sketchbooks and some additional content. So again, I'll put links in the description box below to the video that I've made previewing that as well. That's a pretty cool one though. And you probably notice throughout the sort of genre or the, the interests of Carl while he's drawing, he's got a lot of samurai work, he's got a lot of anthropomorphic sort of creatures. I, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but you guys know what I mean. I always think there's a lot of pirate designs and sort of sci-fi spacey kind of outfits. So like maybe armoured designs that remind me of like Games Workshop. Warhammer type thing, which um, is probably no coincidence because Carl did work as an artist for Games Workshop. And he's got quite a gritty style in these books. So quite, well, I was going to say quite a sketchy style, but it is a sketchbook. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. He actually draws women really well as well. Um, and I'm pointing that out because in one of his videos, I think like an interview with um, Stan Prokopenko, he says he doesn't draw as many women because he doesn't feel like he's as good at them. And you've probably noticed as well, there are sort of superheroes throughout. Again, compared to your typical Marvel superhero art, it's not too similar. It's a little bit more gritty, as I say, a little bit more grungy, maybe realistic, a little bit darker, maybe. Or at least that's how I see it. So that's a pretty cool example of like the space armor type design, I was thinking. Very fantasy and sci-fi, these books. So I don't know if you can tell, but this sketchbook is actually a lot bigger or a lot thicker, more pages than the uh, previous sketchbooks. So I just had a look to see how many it was so that I didn't get it wrong on camera. And before I forget, the pages are 160 GSM, not 140. So I just wanted to correct myself there. 
but from looking on his website, it says that the older ones that I showed earlier are between 140 and 150 pages, which is quite a lot for a sketchbook, especially of this price. Um, this one, I'm sure it said, has an additional 50 pages. So that is really a huge amount more. But yeah, I mean, there's absolutely loads I could talk about, but I don't want to show too much of the book. I am skipping pages at a time. I really like his sort of orc looking creatures. I'm not sure if they are specific creatures, but it reminds me a little bit of like a World of Warcraft, but again, a little bit darker, rougher, not as clean rendered. And this is a sketchbook, so it's worth remembering that if you're after something that's more like, you know, fully rendered, coloured, um, clean paintings, this one probably isn't the one for you. That big Kapinski book I showed does have some in there though, so that's worth checking out. Um, but for those of you who like me, I much prefer the sketchbooks. I'm not sure why, there's just something about that that just stands out to me a lot more. And I always think his Star Wars stuff is really cool. I noticed a few Star Wars things in some of the other books as well. Again, another Star Wars. And there's quite a lot of Hellboy stuff actually in his other ones. But yeah, really cool book. Mainly pencil work, some ink work, and I think it's usually watercolour that he uses. But don't quote me just in case I'm getting anything wrong. But I'm going to leave it at that, guys. So I hope you guys found this video useful if you were looking at buying the book. And don't forget you can check out more book previews of these other books and more in the description box below. But that's it. So if you did enjoy this video, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and means I can make more videos like this. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think to this artwork. Hit that thumbs up button and of course switch notifications on for future content. Thanks so much for watching everyone.